For you do-it-yourselfers, winterizing your own RV can save you some dollars, and it really isn't that tough. It'll help you become more familiar with the water system on your coach. The first step is to have some antifreeze and a hose. You can usually pick these items up at any RV store or dealer. The hose is about 3 to 4 feet in length. This fitting is just a plastic half inch pipe thread on a right angle swivel. We usually use about 3 gallons of antifreeze when doing any sized rig. The very first thing you must do is drain the water heater. For some reason this is the most often forgotten item on a coach. Don't let this happen to you. This is what a water heater tank looks like when it freezes. This gentleman forgot to drain it, and his repair bill was about $550. To drain the water heater, you must make sure that it's turned off. If you have a manual light system, turn it off. Also, if you have an electric heater type, find the breaker and shut it off. If you don't, it'll burn out the element. You'll need a socket wrench to remove the drain plug. Remove the plug and set it inside the compartment so you know where it is next year. Locate the drain for the freshwater tank. Open it and leave it open. Don't close it or it may freeze. Next, find the water heater bypass. There are a few different styles, but if it looks like this, it's probably behind the water heater. The purpose of the bypass is to save on antifreeze. Without it, you would have to fill the entire water heater. That could be 6 to 10 gallons. If you study this picture, it'll show you how it works. In normal operation, the cold water goes in the bottom of the tank, the blue line, and the hot water comes out the top, the red line. If you shut the valve off on the bottom, the water can't get into the tank. If you shut the valve off on the top, nothing can get out. Now, if you open the valve in the middle, the water, or antifreeze, bypasses the water heater, thus the name. Pretty easy, huh? Normally, this style is found in motorhomes, and you might have to hunt a little to find it. They can put them in the darndest places. You simply turn the handle to bypass. Make sure to shut the water pump switch off. Next, locate the water pump. Make sure your freshwater tank is empty and undo the suction side of the pump. That is the line coming from the fresh tank. Attach the hose and put the other end all the way into the antifreeze jug. Check to make sure that all the taps and faucets are shut off and then turn the water pump switch on. When you hear the pump running, open a tap and watch for the water to change color. When it does, shut that tap off and go to the next one. This is where common sense comes into effect. All RVs are set up a little differently. Think of where the water goes. Do you have a wash wand beside the toilet? Do you have an outside shower? How about an ice maker? Make certain that whatever has water going through it gets antifreeze. If you have one of these small water purifier faucets on your kitchen counter, there's usually an adapter or a bypass for them too. If you run antifreeze through the filter, you'll ruin it, and it also takes the dye out of the antifreeze, so you can't tell if it's protected or not. If you have low point drains on your unit, we suggest you open them. Some antifreeze will run out, but that's okay. At least we know there's no water in them. You should drain your holding tanks and leave the valves open. And that's about it. To dewinterize the coach, you simply reverse the steps, but in this order. And remember, do not open the water heater bypass at this time. First, close the fresh water tank. Close the low point drains. Close the sewer valves. Reattach the line to the water pump. Start to fill the holding tank with water. When the tank is full, start the pump and run fresh water through all lines hot and cold, until you see clear water coming out of everything you winterized. While you're doing this, be aware and watch for leaks or anything that doesn't seem or sound right. Install the drain plug back into the water heater. Now we can reverse the bypass valve or valves and allow the hot water tank to fill. You'll have to open a hot water tap in order to get the air out of the tank. 
When the hot water tank is full and no more air comes from the tap, shut off all taps and light the heater and turn on the circuit breaker for the electric heater. The best water leak detector we've ever found is the water pump. Stop and listen. If the water pump continues to stay off and doesn't burp on and off or run continuously, then quite likely you're okay.